What's going on guys? Today's video, we're gonna be working on the Hellcat Swap Ram 1500. So we've got this Hellcat motor in here, the 6.2 liter supercharged engine. If you guys haven't seen all the videos, we have the full complete build on this channel. Also, I will be telling you guys, this truck can be available. So we are gonna be liquidating some stuff here pretty soon. So if you got the money, we will be selling this and it's not gonna be cheap. So 105 for this, this one's probably gonna go in the neighborhood of 150. If you guys think I'm crazy, I've already had private collectors offering me numbers in those ranges, but we will be getting rid of some vehicles as well as the SST that is out there, the second gen Ram with the Hemi swap. We are gonna be starting to get rid of some stuff so that we can make room for more stuff. But until then, we are gonna be having a ton of fun with this stuff. So today's video, we're upgrading the fuel system on this so that we can go even faster than we went before. So previously, if you haven't seen the video, we went a 10.7 with this thing. And what we are gonna be doing is upgrading the fuel system, bigger injectors, colder plugs, and bigger fuel pumps. So I have all that stuff right over here, ready to go. So I'll show you guys that stuff. So the boys over at Holly hooked us up. We've got two TI automotive pumps. These are 535s. These are huge, you guys. So we're gonna go dual pumps. We also had most performance hook us up with a set of injector dynamics fuel injectors. So we've got 1300 CC injectors and we also have one step colder Iridium NGK plugs. If you guys want some stuff, if you need fuel injectors or a lot of parts for your Ram, go check out Moe's. Huge shout out to those guys. They've got their trucks flying so they know their stuff. And Matt over there hooked us up with the injectors for the setup. So here's all the stuff. We're gonna go ahead and start working on this thing. As far as the sequence of events, I'm gonna lift the truck up. I'm gonna take out the bolts for the bed. We're gonna take the bed off to get to the fuel pumps. Probably gonna pull the back bumper just so that we don't have to thread the needle here as far as lifting the bed off without banging it off the bumper. It's only four bolts or six bolts. Yeah, six bolts take the rear bumper off. So I'll pull that off just so it's a little bit easier to take it off. We'll take off the bolts that hold on the bed. And then I'll probably end up taking off the front wheels, taking out the fender liners, because it's a little bit easier to get to the spark plugs, at least on that side. So we can change out the spark plugs. Fuel rails, fairly easy to get to. It's just two bolts, pop up the fuel rails, change the plugs. These are gonna be direct plug and play. So got a lot of work ahead of us, but let's get cranking and let's get this done. All right, so we got the bolts out from the bed. Took out these four bolts, one, two, three four here on the bumper and then once i get the bumper back down i can disconnect these two bolts and i disconnected all the wiring from the bumper the license lights and then the trailer plug so she's free also took off our valve for our airbags and uh, we can put this thing down All right, so bed is up. I just rolled the truck forward. So now we have perfect access to our fuel system. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this assembly out and then we'll get it on the bench, swap out those pumps. Okay, so don't mind the mess on the floor. I'm just working down here instead of getting gasoline all over my brand new bench. So down here we go. And right here we have the pumps we're taking out. These are the 450s, the 267, if you guys are familiar with these. So part number 267 equates to a 450, and these are the 535s. I just dropped one in here, so bigger pump. I still got this one to pop out. Um, I'm reusing the stuff, so I, uh, if you see here, I use a heat gun just to heat up this a little bit, just so that we didn't break it or you know do any weird stuff with the hose. We could pop it off, put it back on. It's the same identical pump, like they're same size and everything, just one flows more and has some different characteristics. So she's gonna be plug and play. We got the dual hanger, let's go. Okay, so we got the dual 295 pumps back on here. We've got our Holly hydro mats on here so that these things wick as much fuel out of the tank as possible. So now let's go ahead and get this back in the tank. We'll put our float back on for our level and uh, get this back in. All 
All right, guys, so the new dual Hellcat pumps are in. Everything's good, everything's tight. All of our hoses are tight, so now we can go ahead and throw the bed back on. Okay, so we've got the bed back down, but once we put this thing back up in the air, I'll bolt it all down, so she's just sitting there loose. We're gonna move on to the front, but stay on the fuel system. So here we go, we got the fuel rails. They're held on just by two 10 mil bolts, so I took those out. Fuel rails will pop up. Um, you will have to be conscious of fuel pressure, so we'll deal with that in a second, but essentially this is gonna come up. There's a clip that's gonna hold on our fuel injectors and then we'll unplug them. So this can be straightforward um, with the exception of fuel pressure. So let's go ahead and get it done. Okay guys, so all the new injector dynamics, fuel injectors are installed. Now let's move on to the spark plugs. So we're gonna go over to the bench, gap all of our spark plugs, and then we will install them. So this side's pretty easy to get to, as you can see, the coil pack's right there. This side is a little bit more fun. That I'll probably end up doing from the bottom. That's where I did uh, this side from last time because it's just easier to take the wheel off, take the fender liner out, and just access it from down there. So let's get to it. Okay, so the plugs are all gapped. Now let's get back to the truck, get these installed. So we got all the plugs in, it's noisy, but we're gonna put the fender liner back in. All right, you guys. Well, shout out to my buddies, Dennis and Brett, for coming by, hanging out, and giving me a hand as well. So we got the new spark plugs in. You guys didn't really miss anything. Um, I'm sure if you guys really wanted to know how to change spark plugs, you guys could easily Google that and figure that out. But new plugs are in. We've got the dual pumps in. So now we have dual, they're actually bigger than Hellcat pumps. I keep saying probably Hellcat pumps in this video, but they are 535 pumps. So we have two of those. So we've got plenty of pump, a dash 10 feed all the way. We got the 1300 CC injector dynamics fuel injectors. So this puppy is ready to rip. So we're going to load up the new tune and then we'll be able to fire this thing up because if we start it with this current tune, then the injectors won't be scaled accordingly and all that. So look forward to that. I just want to show you guys, share with you guys the whole process. Also, you'll notice that if you guys are interested and if you guys are watching, I mentioned it earlier in this video, we are going to be kind of liquidating some stuff here shortly so that we can make room for new projects as some of them are completed. But until that happens, we're going to be having fun with everything you see. So I kind of just want to get this thing dialed in a little bit more. Then we'll be playing with the Helcota again and as well. Well, you guys already know we're working on the SST. The SST, the half of it is here, but you guys know what I'm talking about. And uh, lots of new stuff on the way. So if you guys are enjoying this whole build, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you guys are new to the channel, you wanna check out this whole truck, the whole build, we show this on this channel. So go check out those videos. Also shout out to the guys that helped us out with this. Holly for the fuel pumps, Mo's performance for the fuel injectors and getting us all sorted out. I'll link those guys down below. So go support those guys because they are making this all possible for us. And we'll see you guys on the next one.